Hey guys, so just wanted to make a video analyzing, you know, me. Um, this is my PR Throw 1656. And I just wanted to analyze it because um, I don't think, I actually I do, I did analyze my PR Throw last year. So I figure, you know, per tradition, I'll just analyze my PR Throw this year. Um, wasn't my best technical throw, I'll admit, um, and, you know, so let's watch it a couple times, so, I, I really favored this, I always do, honestly, I, I really favored this, um, right sector a lot, so, uh, actually, throughout this entire year, I don't think I really had very many throws down the middle. Actually, in this whole comp, my warm-up throw, my first uh, non-reverse warm-up throw uh, full was actually the only throw I had down the middle. And honestly, this and one other warm-up reverse full was the only ones in sector. <laughs> um, I developed a really bad habit of not finishing my right side all the way through this season. Um, but obviously, this throw got the job done. And it led to a very incredible save, if I do say so myself. I was so close to fouling this throw. <laughs> um, it honestly didn't even feel that good, to be quite honest. Um, but, you know, so let's get into it. So, uh, coming into this, my pre-meet. So, my coach said uh, in my pre-meet uh, the day before, so that would be Tuesday... I was um, dropping my chest a little when I was going down. Um, sorry, when I was going around my left out the back. So to overcompensate a little for that, I winded a little more up just to make sure that I don't do that because it was leading to me being a little blocked off at the front, which good, I, I wasn't not doing that, so that was a good thing. So I was, I turn. Um, I like to use my left arm a lot out the back, uh, to help me turn. So, it, okay, pickup point, I would like to be, I would like to be grounded a little, uh, more with my right, but, you know, it's not the biggest deal. Uh, normally, I would like my right foot to stay on the ground until this point, until my left foot is at 90, but, you know, yeah, it's fine. So... I get here, so pretty good. I, I had a really bad problem yesterday uh, at the meet, fall, uh, falling over my left out the back instead of staying with a stable hip, So which led to a lot of my sectors. And uh, yeah, so this one was probably the least I fell, but I still wasn't great. I didn't really turn that well either of my left. Um, like my left foot's pointed that way. So... You know, normally I would like it to at least be pointing at the toe board at the very least. But, um, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Again, I wasn't thinking about technique during this comp. I was just focusing on, you know, getting after it. So, you know. Uh, so we get here. I would have liked to hold my left arm a little more to the sector. So a little more. So I would like, I would have liked it to hold maybe like here instead of here so it kind of drifts a little and then stops it's better from usual usually i have a really bad problem of not stopping my left arm in my chest out the back so you know thank god i did it here so i actually had some direction on my throw so i get here not bad sweep actually i was really active with my sweep which was really nice uh so that was really nice nice pre-turn here Really nice. I, I really like my middle here with my lower body. So I get here, sweep, raise a little bit. Actually, no, I didn't raise a little. I didn't really raise. I I have been having a problem of kind of hopping a little bit out the back. So I think I did a really good job of staying a little more level and going forward instead of up. So I went here. Uh, really nice sprint, so I really like um, my left foot touches down, my my uh, right 
sorry, when my right foot touches down, my left foot is there basically. Um, so really nice. I would like my, I would have liked my right heel to be a little higher and a little more stable. So I land here, it kind of dips down a little, but then it re-engages. So I guess that's fine. So as, as long as it's not grounded and, you know, it never stopped turning. So that was nice. Um, pretty okay catch position. I have a tendency to not have a long left arm. That's just how I throw. I've tried to work on that, but, uh, it's just a natural thing I've done my whole career. So, you know, normally I would coach a longer left arm, but as you notice my, when I tend to have my further throws, my shoulder is more out. So I'm not like chicken winged. So my arm is still out and away from me. My elbow is just bent. So, I mean, it's fine. Um, you know, it, it has the same effect. So I still get that stretch in my chest. Um, I'm a little hunched in my shoulders. I would like to be just a little more, uh, have a little more tension in my upper back. Uh, pretty good catch right here. So, uh, I know I didn't film this directly from the back. So this, this is the back of the ring. So this line, so, you know, that's, that's a pretty good alignment right there. So, you know, I, I like this. I'm pretty stacked. Um, my, sh my hips are ahead of my shot. I actually turned my hip ahead of my shot for once. And actually that was something I was really focusing on my warmups of really rotating my hip through the throw all the way. And, um, I really felt that in my non-reverse. My stand throw was not good. My, uh, my, uh, half turns are not very good in my warmups. My fulls were okay, and the distances weren't bad. They were just out of sector. So, yeah. Um, I get here, so I turn. I really like the way I work the ground, so that was better than usual. In meets, so I didn't do like a false turn. I actually pushed against the ground and turned. So, really like that. I think the shot's away from my neck just a little too early. Um, and I really under-rotated my right hip, which leads to me having to pull off a really incredible save to save this throw when that shouldn't usually be the case so i'm here i turn i'm off the ground a little too early in my opinion which is because i just reversed a little too early so my timing was just a little off uh normally i would like to be on the ground a little bit more so I would like to be on the ground up until here and then get into it. And my, I would still like to be on the ground by the time my shots like here, but I'm off the ground completely. So I'm just letting momentum take me at this point and I punch. So I think a big thing that really propelled this throw was my block was a lot better than usual. So I really held that block and I was a lot more patient on my finish. So I landed, uh, let's see. So I landed and normally the second this left foot would touch down, I would just start reversing, but I actually was a little more patient today or, or yesterday and decided, Hey, why don't I actually throw in sector and actually work my work the ground a little more. So I did that. So that's why I threw this far because, and because, you know, I just brought the energy. I, I like my tempo and the way I accelerated through the ring. So I, I brought a lot more energy to this throw that compared to others. So that was nice. And I just came in with the mentality of, you know, go for broke, you know, you know, what's the worst that can happen, you know? So, and, uh, it led to me throwing a 12 centimeter PR. So that was really nice. But yeah, so I got here. I would like my head to be a little more neutral here and my eyes to be a little more on the shot. So let's see. So my left foot grounded here. And then when I reverse, my right foot does not replace my left foot. So I under rotated, which caused me one to, because I reversed a little early. Um, I, it caused me to, you know, under rotate because I didn't work the ground that much, uh, as long as I could have. 
which caused me to not get all my energy into the shot. So I kind of fall away from it just a little tiny bit. And it makes me a little off balance. So, you know, I was very, very, very close to fouling here. So it caused me to reverse and most of my weight was towards this way. So I kind of had to do a little hop backwards to save it. So, you know, it was, it was almost, it, uh, either the heart, most heartbreaking throw of my life or the best throw of my life. So, and luckily it was the latter. So thank goodness for that. But, uh, yeah, it was a little, a little worrying when I was uh, looking at the ground right here because I thought, oh, because it didn't feel like a great throw. So I was like, oh, is it even worth saving this? Uh, I didn't even think it was in sector to be completely honest. So I was like, eh, should I save it? I was like, eh, why not? Let's just see. So luckily I did. And actually, I was actually kind of worried when I got to this uh, meet because this ring maxed out close to what I wanted my PR to be. So I was a little nervous. I was almost maxing out this entire sector. So, yeah. Um, but, you know, overall, I think what really propelled this throw was just my energy and actually being patient on the finish a little more than usual and not pulling the living crap out of my left side. So, you know, it was nice. And th there weren't that many people. And it was a perfect ring for me because it was extremely fast. So I really played to my strengths. So, um, yeah, it, yeah, overall, like it was perfect conditions for me. Like it wasn't super hot, you know, I could be at like 5 30 PM. Um, so it, it was a hour earlier than I usually competed the previous meets. So yeah, overall, uh, really good conditions for me. So it was set up for me to throw really far, not saying that they set up it for me because you know whatever but you know the conditions just aligned right the ring was really nice i i didn't know what to expect i've never been to this place in my entire life in fact i never even heard of it before i signed up for this meet so i was really it was really nice to see that um to see the other throwers there got to connect with some masters throwers that are going to compete in sweden for the masters championships uh world championships so that was nice to see them throw um and yeah um but i would rank this throw maybe like a b technically it wasn't my best technical throw at all um but you know also in comp usually you don't really have very good technical throws because you know you i'm not trying to think about you know a q really like i knew i was falling off my I knew I could have got over my left, but usually for me, when I tend to think about, oh, I need to get over my left a little bit more, that tends to really slow me down out the back in really like force positions. And that's what was kind of happening my last meet before this. Um, and that's why I threw almost a meter further this year. I mean, this meet compared to the last meet I competed in. So, you know, and uh, yeah, so I didn't really think at all this meet. I did a very short warm up, which was really nice for me. So it was not the best organized meet in the world, but you know, I'll take what I can get. And you know, it, it was, yeah, it, it's a fine throw, but you know, not my best technical throw by any means. So, but yeah, so Overall, you know, like mo most people's best throws are honestly not even their most technical throws. They just put a lot more energy to it. You know, you have the meat adrenaline. Um, you're not overthinking. You're not working on something. You're not trying to take a tempo throw. You're just getting after it. So mostly when you see, that's why I really like watching practice throws for like professionals and stuff because they're actually working on something and they're usually a lot more technical. And usually people throw further in practice anyway um compared to a meet uh on average so yeah but yeah overall uh really nice i was gonna ask for the clap um but <laughs> uh i take so long to put my shot put in my neck i always feel very embarrassed and one time i did do it and uh, i got called for a i almost got called for a time foul <laughs> 
So, and then it just ended up being, like, a terrible throw. I just walked out the front. Not this comp. That was, like, a uh, couple years ago. But, yeah. Ever since then, I've never really asked for a clap at all um, for the for my throw. But, yeah. Overall, really nice experience. Got to meet some new throwers. Um, got to say congrats to some high schoolers. And, yeah, it was very nice. Really nice high school, by the way, also. Monta Vista High School in San Diego. Really nice facilities. I was actually shocked. It was a super big cat. They had, like, frisbee golf and stuff. It was crazy. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I just thought I'd like to make a video of me because most throwers don't actually sit down and, you know, record, like, analyze their own throws and then post it. Um, they don't. So I think it's very interesting. Um, I wish more pros would do this to analyze what they're actually working on in this particular throw and um, all that. So, yeah, so I hope that's a trend that starts. I'm not saying I would be a trendsetter because, you know, nobody really cares about me in the grand scheme of things, but um, in terms of the throwing community, but yeah. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Um, and let me know if you have any questions and see y'all later. Thanks for watching.